possession. UCLA dressed in white. They're wearing the Centeno uniforms with gold numerals, blue name under the number. Here's a three by Osborne. Good. That's how you start a college career. Bruins worked it to Osborne in the left corner, and the Bruins up 3-0. Now the lob in deep to Sierra James, and they strip it away. Stolen by Onyenwede. She's got it in the front court. Bounce it to Osborne, and she's fouled. And Charisma Osborne, the speedy guard, going to the line to UCLA. It's 5-0 Bruins, all five points from Charisma Osborne. Well, no matter how great a star you are at the high school level, you always wonder what's it going to be like to get out there in the Division I game. Charisma Osborne already comfortable on the floor. She's got it again. A three from the right side is too long. Rebound grabbed by Miller up and in with the left hand. And it's 7-0 UCLA just over a minute in. Lauren Miller had a spectacular game at Arizona State, a game that really turned the Bruins season around a year ago, won by Japrice Deems three in the closing seconds. The Wildcats throw it away again, and Cho comes up with it for UCLA. Here's Onyenwede in the front court, driving the lane, floating with the right hand. This is badly, rebound to Osborne. Out to Cho, three on the way is too strong. Rebound batted and controlled by the Wildcats, and a timeout called by Valeda Harris. Fox. Osborne tries to shake a screen, can't get free. The ball comes into Lauren Miller. Now back to Osborne running the point with Japrice Dean, not able to play tonight. Dean's fine, she's healthy, she's just got to sit him out. Here's Corsaro, three from the wing, it's good. And it's 9-0 UCLA. And we saw Corsaro setting up between the new line for the men's three-point line and uh, the women's line, which is the same as last year. Now the Wildcats throw it away at the offensive end. And once again, turnovers plaguing Weber State. That is already their fourth of the contest. The Bruins have seven points off those turnovers. Osborne has it on the wing around a pick by Nguede. Work it out on top to Corsaro, left side Cho. The Bruins spreading around the perimeter. Cho whips it across to Osborne, finds Michaela in the corner. Her three is an air ball. Taken by Lauren Miller, puts it up with the left hand off the back iron, no good. Rebound is stripped out of the hands of Watkins by Onyenwede. Now onto the left side, Cho whips it down low to Miller. Miller passes it to the baseline, Michaela saves it. Out on top to Corsaro, she'll drive, she'll float it. It's no good. Rebound Onyenwede, turnaround jumper, good. 12-0 UCLA. And if you're joining us late, that is the way she's pronouncing her name. Michaela, sixth senior from Melbourne, Australia. Shot missed from the corner by Chamberlain, taken by Kayla Owens for UCLA. Shovels it back to Jaden Owens, no relation. Out on top, Kayla's got it. Kayla, work it to Corsaro, launches a three. It's money. Lindsay Corsaro gives the Bruins a 19-5 lead. Bruins are three for nine outside the arc. Kayla Owens gets a hand on a pass to the corner, knocks it out of bounds. It'll be Weber State ball. Bruins overall are shooting 35%. Weber State is 17%. Bruins have 17 shots, only six shot attempts for Weber State. Now the ball brought in. Corsaro pressuring Chamberlain. Ula's got it. Her pass is taken by Jaden Owens. Good steal. Owens driving to the basket, one on two, scoops it up and in. And Jaden Owens with her first college points. 21-5 UCLA. Penser working the dribble. Bruins in a player-to-player -player defense. Penser drives. Sends it over to O'Brien. The 6-6 senior misses hard off the glass. Rebound, Kayla Owens in traffic. Good to see Kayla Owens healthy. Now into the front court, Corsaro drives the basket, draws contact, and one. Strong drive up the right side by Corsaro. The foul is on Vicky Para. Fourth team foul. Vicky Para is from Valencia, but not the one up the I-5. She's from Valencia, Spain. Ashley Toms in, a sophomore from Campolindo High up in Lafayette in Northern California. Corsaro trying to cap the three-point play, launches it up and misses, and that's news. Rebound, Karams over to Jaden Matthews, a freshman from Reading who has come in for Wheatley State. 
Matthews has it, thought about a three. Her pass is tipped and stolen by Natalie Cho. Cho racing into the front court, pulls up at the free throw line, jumper on the way, good. <laughs> Natalie Cho can really fill it up, and she's great from long range, too. She's going to give the Bruins quite an element. The shot is missed by Pinsir, rebounded by Matthews on a good hustle play by the knocked him out of the tournament. Corsaro's got it for UCLA as the quarter begins. Work it into the corner to Osborne. Whip it to Onyanwede. Right uh, base elbow jumper is good. So Michaela Onyanwede picking up where she left off last year. A spectacular year last year. Onyanwede preseason Pac-12 or all Pac-12 selection by the media. Bruins selected fourth in the Pac-12 polls, both the coaches and the media. Now a pass off in quarter number two. The Bruins opening up with five home games. They'll play a two o'clock game against Loyola on Saturday. And uh, the following week, they'll play an 11 a.m. game against Long Beach State. Here's a drive by Lindsay Corsaro, taking it strong to the basket. If you watch Lindsay Corsaro and the struggle she had physically her first couple of years and how strong she came back last shot put up and missed and rebounded by Kayla Owens. Kayla Owens gets it to Jaden Owens. She'll bounce it to Corsaro left wing. Corsaro tried baseline, nothing doing. Got it back to Jaden. Her three is too long. Lauren Miller with a one-hand rebound. Puts it up and in. She fought off two players and gathered in with her left hand. 31-9 UCLA, four points for Lauren Miller. Now a turnover, and Kayla Owens is still really shaking that right hand. And welcome back inside Pauley Pavilion. So glad to be with you again as the new season gets underway. Lindsay Corsaro is in double figure. She's the leading scorer in the game with 10 points. She has a pair of threes. Michaela Onyanwere has six for Weber State. James and Chamberlain each have four. Bruins are shooting 37%. Only three of nine here in the second quarter. Weber State, three of 18 for the game, 16%. Jaden Owens has it. Weber State's in a 2-3 zone. Bruins work in the perimeter. Owens back to Jefferson. Three from the left wing is too long. Corsaro, weak side rebound. Puts it up. Blocked. Rebound taken and put in by Kayla Owens. 33-11. Pass up top to Jefferson. Three is too strong. Rebound tipped. Grabbed by Kayla Owens. 17 seconds to play, and Jaden Owens smartly slowing it up so the Bruins can work for one shot. Final nine seconds. Jaden Owens dribbles it. Looking inside. Band counting it down. Three seconds. Gets it to Osborne. Puts up a three. It's good! A buzzer beater in her first college game. And the Bruins lead it 44 to 19. The rebound grabbed by Kayla Owens. Into the front court to Corsaro. Corsaro finds Osborne in the corner, close to a travel. To Kayla Owens, free throw line jumper misses badly. Rebound Cho took it away from two Wildcats, puts it up and flips it in. Natalie Cho, good job going to the glass. Bruins first points of the second half after almost three minutes. 46-25 UCLA. 46-27 UCLA. Corsaro on the right wing into the corner. Osborne thought about a three. Instead feeds Corsaro back on top. Now Osborne has it again. Lob it inside to Onyanwede. She's up and in off the glass. Osborne made that play with her eyes. Communication with Onion Wede. And it's 48 27 in UCLA for Onion Wede. That is eight. So 
Well, she, she's getting great attention in the national media. And again, on the top 30 wooden watch list that came out today. Now a foul on the Bruins as Pencer dribbles in traffic and it's gonna be on Onyenwede, her third. Four team fouls on the Bruins. Osborne comes out and Kiara Jefferson back in. Vicki Parra coming back in with three fouls for Valida Harris's Weber State Wildcats. And now an offensive foul on Chamberlain as she ran over on Nimwede. First team foul on Weber State. Bruins get it back. That turnover is the 18th by the Wildcats. The Bruins have committed 10. Rebounds are 29-19 in favor of UCLA. Corsaro, Laba down low to Onyenwede, and she's in double figures with 10. So three Bruins have 10 points each in that win over Louisville in the scrimmage. And again, take it with a grain of salt. There were a lot of substitutions that might not be made in a real game, but five Bruins were in double figures in that game. Now Chamberlain has it, drives the baseline, floats it up and in, great shot. Ula Chamberlain, the freshman, cuts the Bruin lead to 50 to 29. Now Para pokes it away, it caroms into the corner to Jefferson. Back up top, Kayla Owens has it, whip it left to Cho. Cho puts it on the floor, skips it to Corsaro, she'll drive into the lane, scoop it up with the left hand and in. Strong move to the basket by Lindsay Corsaro. And it's 52-29 UCLA. And of course, when you have Japrice Dean knocking in 40 in a row, that does great things for your percentage. Again, Dean not playing tonight. One of the conditions of getting her extra year was sitting out the first two games. Beautiful feed from Jaden Owens to Onion Wede. And uh, she has 12, and the Bruins have a 54-29 lead. Nice assist by Jaden Owens. Well, we've heard so much about Jaden Owens and Charisma Osborne. Bryn Maskiewicz, Cameron Brown. We knew about Natalie Cho, but it's nice to see her playing. Five newcomers on the Bruin roster. Now feed inside to Para. She lost Owens, but for some reason stepped back and missed the baseline jumper. And the rebound grabbed by Onion Onyenwere. She's knocked down and fouled. That'll be the third on Liz Graves. Only foul number two committed by the Wildcats with six minutes gone in the third quarter. Jaden Owens across the timeline for UCLA. Owens sends it to Cho left wing, back up top Owens, lob baseline to Onyenwere, beautiful pass. And how about the connection between Owens and Onyenwere the second time here in the last couple of minutes. And Michaela, after a slow start, has 14. Now a steal by Onyenwere, finds Owens, she'll lay it up and in, and the Bruin lead is back to 29 points. It's 58-29 UCLA. Full court pressure again by UCLA. They trap at midcourt. They almost got it away from Graves. Now they work it down low. Para's shot is blocked by Kayla Owens. And Owens came down on the baseline. So they're going to give it a full 30 on the clock, not 20. Chamberlain gets it in. The Graves puts it up and puts it in. Reber State in down and get up the lane. Now Jefferson has it on the wing. They try to trap her. She gets it to Jaden Owens. Now Jefferson has it. Drive baseline, pull up, and score. Jefferson so quick. Just got to the edge and pulled up and made about a 10-footer. And uh, Jefferson has eight. The Bruins have 60, and they're in command. 2.40 to play, third quarter. Liz Graves. Now Jefferson to Jaden Owens. Bounce it down low to Kayla. Driving the lane, Jefferson puts it up and in. 
She took the bounce pass from Kayla Owens. And around the Pac-12, folks, don't sleep on Kiara Jefferson. She is having a terrific night. That's 10 points for her. Here are the fans calling it out. Uh, Weber State took 12 seconds to get into the front court. They miss a jumper. Chamberlain's rebound spins up and in. The shot clock was at 18 when the Wildcats got into the front court. Here's Kara Jefferson working it around the perimeter. Karam's over to Charisma Osborne, whips it down low to Kayla Owens, and she scores. Bruins showing some great passing into the interior. 65-35 Bruins, final minute of the third. Chamberlain working it on Jefferson, who gets rubbed off on a pick. Chamberlain puts it up, back iron, caroms to Jaden Owens for UCLA. Owens into the front court. Corey Close calling for a two for one. Let's see if they can get it off in a hurry. Here's Cho, it's good from 13. 38 seconds to play. The Bruins will get their two for one. Shot clock is four seconds ahead of the game clock. And now here's a 10 second call. Corey Close right in the ear of Tiffany Bird that time. And uh, she gets the call. And she Bruins and Loyola Saturday at 2 as UCLA tries to get payback for their opening loss last year at LMU. Corsaro got blocked, put it up again, and scored. 71-35 UCLA. Inside nine minutes remaining in the season opener at Pauley Pavilion. Toms. Bounces it to Para. She'll skip it out to Watkins. Watkins holding it high overhead. Steps back, launches a three. That's an air bank. And it's taken by Jefferson. Jefferson into the front court. On the wing to Corsaro. Lab it down low to Onyenwede. And she's got the easy two. And she has 16 points in the season opener. Now a timeout called by Valada Harris. Sorrow to Jefferson, back up top to Lindsay. She'll direct traffic as she works it out toward midcourt. Right side Jefferson into the right corner to Cho. Cho back up top to Corsaro, seven to shoot. Corsaro has it poked away, but a foul on Toms. That is her third second team foul, and the Bruins will get it back. So the shot clock only resets this year to 20 seconds when uh, a foul gives a team another possession. Doesn't go back to 30. Offensive rebound, it goes to 20 seconds, so it will move the game a lot quicker. Here's Corsaro, three from the top, too strong. Rebound, Cho up high, puts it up and in, and draws the foul. Natalie Cho showing a good nose for the basketball, and she is fouled by Loyland. By Loyland, rebounded by Natalie Cho. Cho with her sixth rebound of the contest. Here's a jumper up and in. Kiara Jefferson hitting another baseline jumper. And she's having a sparkling debut to 2019-2020. Here's a three by Toms. High arching. She's taken by Jefferson and the Bruins into the front court with five minutes to play. Kayla Owens has it. Sends it on the left side. Three by Osborne is good. 